Here's problem 13, 6. Knowing that G is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared at sea level, and that the radius of the Earth is 6.37 times 10 to the 6 meters, we find that the value of G in meters per second squared at a distance R sub E of the radius of the Earth from the surface of the Earth is... All right, let's examine this. Let's say we have the Earth, and it's got a radius R sub E, and you're standing on the Earth. In this situation, your weight would be equal to the gravitational attraction between you and the Earth. Mass of the Earth, your mass over the radius of the Earth squared, so that uh, the value of G that we know and love is equal to G mass of the Earth over the radius of the Earth, and that is equal to the 9.80 meters per second squared that we know. Okay, but now we have a situation where you're not the radius of the Earth the way you are above the Earth at a distance equal to the radius of the Earth. So your true distance from the Earth, per se, from the center of mass of the Earth, is actually two times the radius of the Earth. That's your distance from the Earth. So, in this case, your mass times G prime, we'll say, is equal to G, mass of the Earth, your mass, over your distance away from the Earth, which is 2 times the radius of the Earth squared. And if we get rid of the masses here, your mass, we have, this is equal to G mass of the Earth over the radius of the Earth squared times 1 fourth. So this G prime is actually equal to G times 1 fourth which would be 9.8 divided by 4, or 2.45 meters per second squared. So if you were above the surface of the Earth, equal to the radius of the Earth itself, the gravitational attraction to uh, acceleration at that point would be one-fourth what it is on the surface. It's 2.45 meters per second squared.